Mid 20th century was clearly a dramatic time for the global order. The trauma of the Second World War had its grip firmly over the psyche of the Western powers, and the colonial powers were facing the wrath of the added expenses brought forth by the colonies. As the Western world reeled under its internal and external pressures, one piece of news from the oriental part of the globe had shaken it up further, enough to make its way to the front page of all the major newspapers of the world. The jewel in the crown of the British Empire was lost and had found itself a space in the world map, independent of the authority of its colonial masters. Further, this long-drawn battle for independence had been won at a cost, as not one but two independent nations had emerged on August 15, 1947, leaving the South Asian region soaked in blood of the partition riots that had accompanied it. Indian independence was a historic moment for the world. The largest and most important colony of the British Empire was Fred. Further, the route to freedom for India was unique in its capacity that it drew from the Gandhian theory of non-violence, Azad Hind Forge under the leadership of Subhash Chandra Bose, and many other movements that went on to inspire several leaders across the globe. And finally, India got back her freedom on 15th August 1947. But still, it wasn't a complete win. India's independence coincided with the partition of India in which British India was divided along religious lines into the dominions of India and Pakistan. The partition was accompanied by violent riots and mass casualties and the displacement of nearly 15 million people due to religious violence. And finally, on 15th August 1947, the first Prime Minister of India Jawaharlal Nehru raised the Indian national flag above the Lahori gate of the Red Fort in Delhi. On each subsequent Independence Day, the incumbent Prime Minister customarily raises the flag and gives an address to the nation. It's been two years. Independence Day has been celebrated differently due to pandemic, considering the safety of people and following the Covid protocols. And after years, again, it's high time for all of us, being the citizen of India, to stick together and fight against pandemic and free our nation from enemy like COVID-19 with the same enthusiasm that we showed while fighting against Britishers.